Howdy everyone, thought I'd do a quick unboxing and review of the new flashlight I got. A mounted flashlight for your mountain bike or uh, motorbike. I'm going to use it as an aux light on my CT90. Just got it in from Amazon. Actually rather fast shipping, it only took about five, four days to get here. In the box. The box is actually rather nice. It's a little bit more scuffed up than I'd like, but overall. And there's the bowl wrap inside. Well, straight on the top, we have the manual. The user guide in this case, it looks like it's just one page. All the Future Technologies X8 bike light. We have a specification separate section, an operation section, which gives you all the different modes for the two buttons that are located on the top. Uh, you have a smart power indicator, which gives you information about the charging and the charging information. Uh, it looks like you can charge it with a micro USB, and some information here about uh, cautionary and warranty. Oh, he actually looks pretty decent. Looks like 15 days uh, return and 36 months from purchase for the built-in battery, which is pretty decent for an overshore, offshore uh, flashlight. Whether or not they will honor that warranty. Happy? <laughs> not happy. Well, that's interesting. Huh. It's like a little comment card. That's rather cool, actually. I quite like that. So far, I'm happy with it. It is quite heavy for its size. It actually has a lot of girth to it. Um, I'm guessing most of that weight's coming from the two lithium ion batteries. So there's the two drivers. Feels very robust, actually. Very solid. I like the way that the buttons are raised up so I can hit them with gloved hand without any problem. This will be your access door for the batteries. Um, as far as I've read, they aren't user serviceable, but there's a bay to get in there. I'm sure if you could figure out what model the batteries were, you could probably replace the shelf. It's actually got some good reflecting surface there. Seems to be nicely dished. Should actually focus fairly well. The latch is one thing I was a little bit concerned about when ordering it because it is plastic, but it looks like it's actually a glass fiber reinforced, maybe glass bead reinforced. It's incredibly stiff. First when I touched it I thought it was actually aluminum, uh, but it is not cold to the touch like the body, so it is plastic. It looks like there's a little detent here to keep things together. Push that up, slide it off. Cool. One of the reasons I went with this light is it does have a tripod mount screw. So if this ever did break, I could easily find a third party mount for it. There's tons of camera mounts that will go onto handlebars. It also has a cool detent feature um, that you can change the angle on it because most people's handlebars aren't square on and it's actually very stiff detent so it's not going to accidentally change on you quality is actually I'm very impressed it feels quite good in the hand it doesn't feel cheap at all um, one thing I was a little bit downed on is these aren't actually held in with screws they're just little press fits should hold in there fairly well though don't see it being an issue simple micro USB cable everyone's got dozens of these and a spare cover. That might actually come in handy. I'm sure that has a fair bit to do with the waterproofing. It is an IPX6, I believe, uh, rating, so it can take rainwater and what have you, uh, but wouldn't be able to go directly underwater. 
but it should be more than enough to shed water for the activities that I have planned for it. Mostly going to be biking and as an aux light for my CT90 since it is a 6 volt system the headlight on it is not fantastic. This will definitely help. Okay, well, let's turn it on, see how it works. So you got main power button and a mode button. Power button. We have to hold it down for a couple seconds. Okay, so that must be the lowest setting. Medium, that's actually incredibly bright. And high. Back down to low again. That's impressively bright. Now if we push and hold the mode button, it should go into a different... Yeah, there we go. So now we got the crazy strobe. SOS. One, two, three, dash, one, two, three. Low again. Medium. High. Ultra high. Which isn't in the um, first three modes. And we'll push it again and hold it just to get back to the original three modes. Like this would be a really kind of weak flashlight. It's definitely usable on low. I'd say this would be the equivalent of a very decent flashlight. Uh, the focal point on the dual LED drivers is actually pretty good. If I bring it up close, you can see you can see them becoming two circles. They get closer rather than one. So it does actually focus them in fairly easily. You get one nice bright spot. And the high is just retardedly bright. I, mean, I don't even I wouldn't want to look at that. You can see. Oh, that's creepy. I actually see it through my hand. You can definitely feel the heat off of it. Um, I'm guessing the aluminum body will take and dissipate the majority of the heat. Um, the batteries themselves, after long use, I imagine, would also heat up. Um, so it's a good thing the body's made of aluminum. Uh, there is some ribbing on the side here, which I believe will help it with the airflow going by to basically act as uh, heat sink and cooling fins. Um, they could have actually made them a little bit larger. Uh, they're not very deep. I don't know how much that would actually really impact it, but while you're driving your bike, having airflow going over that would definitely help. Um, I've seen a lot of the first generation kind of knockoff Chinese LED lights have quite large fins on them. I think the driver technology has improved. Apparently this is the newer version um, of the Evo X8. I'm quite impressed with it. We'll have to do some uh, tests outside to see how actually far the uh, light will go. Well, there's the low mode. So it seems to work pretty good. Lawnmower is about 10 feet away. Shed, not sure if you can see the shed. And maybe about 50 feet away. Let's try and power up. There you go, that's much better. <laughs> okay, lawnmower is 10 feet away. Shed's 50 feet away. Hi. Wow. I don't know how well my camera is picking up, but it sure works. That's amazing. Let's attach on the bike and see how it goes. Oh, there she is mounted on the bike. So the blue light isn't terribly annoying. Let's go give her a try. This is low power. <laughs> the street light's overpowering it already. Uh, it's pretty low. I mean, it's pretty much the equivalent of a headlamp. Maybe at half power. You can see my shadow there. Yeah, it's enough to make out maybe lumps and bumps and cracks. But it's, it's pretty low. It would definitely provide you with some oncoming uh, with some oncoming protection for traffic being able to see you for sure. Uh, it's quite bright on the incoming. There's not so much I'm picking up for details. Now here is mode two. It is much brighter than the first low mode. Sorry, just going up a hill in the corner here. I don't have it set that far in the distance. I guess with this mode, you could definitely run it farther. I'm um, just kind of a little bit worried about how bright it is for incoming traffic. Um, the detent to turn left and right actually 
was pretty handy. I did change the mounting and actually just mounted it on the side of my grip since my hand horse seemed to be a little bit too thin. But it seems to be working fine. It's on there nice and solid. And we got mode three now. So this one is quite bright. Um, I can definitely see the whole road in front of me. It's really not much different than say the headlights of a vehicle. It's pretty comparable. Uh, it's not quite as powerful, but uh, for the size of this thing, it's pretty impressive. You can definitely see all the details of the road that I need to see. And I'm sure it's stupid bright on the incoming. And I come down here where there is no other light pollution in the field here. So we can see how far the light goes in the dark. I'd be curious how um, the battery life is actually what they're claiming it to be. Uh, that was another reason I went with this light, was the battery life. A lot of the other lights is nowhere. Uh, it's pretty impressive. I'm just going to tilt it up a bit. I can see it a fair bit farther than what it looks like it's coming up on the actual camera. It's the Eva, Evolva X8 from Future Technologies. Impressive little deal for 50 bucks for sure.